In section 2.7, we'll be dealing with transformations of different types of functions. Here we have some quadratic functions we'll be taking a look at. Now, specifically in this video, we'll be looking at movements going up, down, left, or right. Now, when a number is added or subtracted, the only movements that are occurring are up or down, left or right. Now, if we look at these first two right here, notice how the number is added on the outside of the x squared, whereas here, the number is added on the inside of the part that's being squared. So here, the number is on the outside of what's being squared, meaning this 4 is not being squared, but this 7 is being affected by this exponent here. Well, when the number is on the outside, it's moving up or down. Now, when it's moving up or down, we can think what it normally would be. If it's adding, we're adding 4, we're going up 4. If we're subtracting 5, we're going down 5. So those are normal movements. Now, when it's inside the parentheses here, like this x plus 7 squared, when it's inside the parentheses, you need to think opposite. So instead of what you normally think would be, oh, we're going to move to the right 7, we're actually going left 7. And here, since it's negative, we're actually moving to the right 5. This one down here is a double whammy, as I like to call it. First off, we're inside, so we're moving left or right. Here, we're moving up or down. So with that first one, we're going, let's see here, got to think opposite, because it's addition in there. It's inside, it's got to think opposite, so I'm moving to the left 4. On the outside, we're moving down 7. And that's basically what we're going to be doing with adding and subtracting when we're dealing with these functions. Up, down, left or right. Next video, we'll talk about when we're multiplying and what that does to a graph.